reasons I didn't want to go to seminary was because of money. When I found out that it's $100,000 for three years, I, uh, <laughs> I got scared. I didn't believe that God could provide. And over the, over the past few months since I started in January, I kept, I kept telling myself, I can't do it. I can't, I can't work. I can't take school. And I kept listening to the lies of Satan. And that's how I was doing my quiet times in Matthew in the Sermon on the Mount. It says, ask and you will receive. And at that moment, I felt like I was just watching myself walk down to the mailroom and open a check. I said, I will provide for you. I'm going to provide for you no matter what. I sent you there. Why would I send you there so you don't have money? Why would I make you have debt for the rest of your life? So it's easy to go to the school and to realize, hey, I'm just here for school, um, just for an education. And it's easy to listen to the lies of Satan. But it's difficult to remember why we're there. And I had an opportunity last fall to speak at a retreat. And I was asked on Saturday, and I had to speak four times on Tuesday and Wednesday. So there's not much time to prepare. But I knew through encouragement, through my girlfriend, her family, and my family, that God would use me through that experience. And thank the Lord, four children received Christ at their retreat. And uh, even in undergrad, I felt so overwhelmed at Moody because there's so many big names and big pastors that came out of that school. And I had worked on Saturday in Chicago, drove through the night to Virginia, just down the road to Virginia Green Baptist Church for my internship. No sleep, got there on Sunday morning, and they, uh, during the sermon, our youth pastor said, I'm leaving, you're the youth pastor now. <laughs> oh, help me. And, uh, but thankfully that summer I got to lead a trip down to Florida and um, got to lead another trip to New Jersey. And through that summer, six more children got led to Christ. And I knew it's not the, the things that I'm saying, but it's coming directly from God. And it's opportunities like that that help me and show me that my studies are paying off. The Lord is blessing me through the opportunity to serve, to really give back. And um, I'm so grateful for, for you guys for hosting us, for providing for us to help us not worry about finance and know that God is really taking care of us, that he loves us, he cherishes us, so that we can focus on our work and not um, worry about the next meal or worry about what's coming next. But we know that we're being loved for, most importantly being prayed for, and that the Holy Spirit is guiding us and providing us. And um, yeah, I want to thank you again for providing this. And uh, my family and I are very grateful and very fortunate to be a part of this. And I, I'm sure I can speak on behalf of all the recipients uh, this year, the past years, and in the future that you guys are doing such a blessing. And uh, just know that the Spirit is going to continue to move in you and will use this foundation to do great things. And who knows, you can be sponsoring the next Tim Keller or Francis Chan and that a great speaker or a great minister will come forth and even just one soul can be worth all the money and dedication that you guys do. Thank you.